Hey, Natalie Leffler here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to tell you all about the unconscious and the way that you can hack your unconscious and start manifesting and creating a new experience for yourself. If you don't know me, I have been a marriage and family therapist, behavioral expert, and holistic health and wellness coach for 15 years. I absolutely love this topic. I love personal development and mind sciences neuroscience, law of attraction, manifesting, and everything, everything that you can think of in terms of psychology. And I love helping people really transform themselves and create lives they love. I believe everybody has the power within them, in their mind, to heal themselves of any kind of illness or disease, mental health issues, to create um, anything, wealth, health, abundance of all kinds. Because Everything that you get in your outer world is a reflection of what your inner world looks like, what thoughts, beliefs, feelings, and emotions that are resonating in there is reflecting back out into the world, dictating what you perceive and what you experience, the choices that you make. And if you change that internal environment, then you can absolutely change your external environment and actually do it really fast. So Today, I want to talk about the unconscious and how that can help you with that journey of starting to create a new you and inside to create a new outside. To recap that I've talked about in another video, but just to recap, you have three levels of consciousness. You have your subconscious, which is the part of you that's here right now that's listening. It starts at about four and it's all about quality. It's about good and bad. It's it's deciphering your preferences, it's deciding I want to be an engineer, I want to be an author, I want to be a artist, and I like blue, and I like pizza, and I like ice cream, and it gets to make choices about your experience on this planet. And that's all really the job it's supposed to have, although we give it more work than it needs to do, which can cause a lot of stress and anxiety in our lives. But its job is to just do that, just gather information and learn. And our unconscious is the other component that takes all that information and stores it. It takes in everything that you experience, all of the events and emotions, thoughts, feelings that you have, all the beliefs about yourself, and everything and everything you've ever learned is stored in that part of your consciousness. It's what makes us so amazingly efficient that we have these automatic parts of ourselves our body just does its own thing you don't have to think about it and you're able to drive a car without thinking about so many of the aspects of it and all sorts of cool multi-functional uh, things that we can do so it's an amazing part of our consciousness that part is developed actually before we're born in utero and is here now. So it's just been gathering information your entire life. Then you have a super conscious, which you might not have heard of before. I want to teach you all about it. It is your infinite self, your spiritual being. Some might refer to it as your soul or your inner being, your spiritual self. And that is a part of your consciousness that is connected to all that is otherwise known as awareness, consciousness, the universe, or God. And it is direct, gives you the direct power to create just like you have heard God creates. We are all part of God and we have that ability inside of us by tapping into our super conscious and using our levels of consciousness for us. And that's what I want to teach you how to do is use those levels the right way so that manifesting, creating, healing is all super easy and natural for you. So today, the unconscious, sometimes you might hear it as the subconscious, a lot of people refer it that way. Traditional psychotherapists used to call it the subconscious. Um, it doesn't matter, it's the same. But it's the part of us that stores all that information. Now what's really important is that it literally stores everything. I mean everything. And it really, really deems what's important as whatever you're focusing on, whatever you're drawing your attention to, whatever you're bringing into your awareness the most, that's how it knows what's important. And that's how it knows what to instruct you to continue to get in your experience 
and instruct your body what to do. For example, let's say that you <clears throat> experienced something negative. Perhaps you experienced a car accident. You might develop beliefs about that situation. Like, I am now maybe a little scared of certain highways. I don't like going fast. Um, the roads are dangerous. People are dangerous. You start gathering all these beliefs because you had that experience. Your unconscious stores it because your unconscious job is to keep you alive, keep you alive for a long time. It's all about safety and protecting you. So it remembers those things and it goes, it will bring them back up, trigger you with emotional reactions if you get anywhere near experiencing that again, which if you've been in a car accident, you might get anxiousness or panicky fear around driving or driving fast or driving near cliffs or bridges or anything like that. And so that's our unconscious going, ding, 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 uh-oh, uh-oh, you're, you're in danger, danger, please don't do that. And that's why you experience those emotions. So your unconscious is now dictating your outer experience by your emotional reactions to things. That's one component of what the unconscious does. The unconscious also projects into your experience things that resonate with the same images that you have around those beliefs and, and thoughts and events that you've already experienced if you don't change them at all. So for instance, if you're constantly fretting about driving and accidents and whatnot, you're giving your unconscious the instructions, hey, this is what's important, an accident. And so inevitably, you will probably get into another accident or you will see another accident and that will continue to happen to you over and over again because you keep focusing on it and telling your unconscious, this is a part of what I want my experience to be. I keep plugging it back in. This can happen with all sorts of things. This can happen with relationships, maybe dating a certain type of person. This can happen with health issues. If you're constantly focusing on being sick, telling yourself sick, um, worrying about being sick, your unconscious is like, oh, okay, so I guess we're sick. I'm going to just give your body the instructions, we're sick, and you're just going to continue to be sick. That's how it works. Your unconscious is just listening to you. It's just listening to the self-conscious, tell it what's important, and then reflecting that back into your body or into your experience. So this is pretty huge. This means it really, really matters what you're focusing on, what you're thinking about, what you are deeming as important, and what you are telling yourself about yourself and or the world because your unconscious is always listening and that means if you're talking negative about yourself you're talking negative about other people or your job you're watching negativity on the news or you're getting all wrapped up in social media and what's going on there or watching even scary movies that's all getting imprinted in your subconscious or unconscious mind as important as what you're focusing on and therefore imprinting that into what's going to be instructions for your body and or your reality. So be mindful maybe of what you're thinking about. It'd be very, very smart of you to start being really deliberate about what you're watching, what you're paying attention to, what you're thinking about, and start implanting more positive, more healthy types of beliefs and statements. So it's all about switching your mind frame and being deliberate. So every day I would question yourself, like when you start having a conversation with somebody or you start finding yourself talking or thinking about something, ask yourself, do I want to keep this going on in my experience? Do I want to continue this, the negativity in my workplace? Do I want to continue fighting with my partner? Do I want to continue feeling stressed about money? Because inevitably, if you are experiencing that, it's because you keep plugging that into your unconscious. Also, I talk about in other videos into your reticular activating system, which is your brain, which is kind of the antenna of your unconscious. And so that you keep seeing it in your experience. But it all kind of stems from your unconscious and what you are imprinting in it as important. So one of the best things that you can do is start imprinting new material. It doesn't matter what you've experienced in the past. 
the past is gone. It doesn't matter anymore. The past is only a memory in your imagination. And all, you, all you're doing is just bringing up into the now, because all there is is now. And you just keep bringing up and therefore keep experiencing it. But you can bring up new memory that you create. The cool part about the unconscious is it doesn't know the difference between what is real and what you're making up. It doesn't know the difference between the past and the future or the present. It just knows what's important, what you keep feeding it, and it hangs onto it to make sure you stay alive. So the best thing you can do is start implanting it with new beliefs, new affirmations, new emotions that feel good, because then you will get more of that. Your unconscious will be like, oh, it's really important to um, give you more abundance, to give you better health, to meet your soulmate, to heal your body to give you more confidence, more peace, and more prosperity, whatever it is that you want. You have the power to give your unconscious the instructions and therefore get anything that you want in your experience. One of my favorite ways to do it is through affirmations. That's why I have a whole 28-day series of self-love affirmations. Because when you give yourself self-love affirmations, you are resonating that so much inside that you love yourself, you're confident, that that's what you're going to get in your experience and you're going to get everything that you want because when you are feel worthy and capable and confident, that's what you're going to get in your experience. So it's very powerful. I would check it out. I'll link it below. But you can give yourself any affirmation. I know that there's mixed reviews about affirmations and they actually really do work, but it does take your some effort. Like you can't probably just say it once and then it works because your your ego part of your brain, your self-conscious is going to go, no, that's not true. And it's just going to squash it. So it's best to do it when you can't let your self-conscious squash it. And you can do that by repetition, just saying it over and over again. Or you can do it when you're in a more relaxed state and you bypass your self-conscious. Now, I used to be a certified hypnotherapist. I still am. I just don't do it anymore because I feel like you can do it yourself. You don't need someone else to hypnotize you and plug them in. You can do it yourself. The key is to do it when you're in a very relaxed state. So that means you could do it before bed or upon waking up or maybe even after a large meal and you're kind of sleepy before a nap or when you're doing something else that is kind of naturally hypnotic like driving in a long straight road if you can do it by with paying attention or um, listening to some kind of hypnotic beat or maybe even strolling down a path in a park or something like that but you're just kind of zoning out you're shutting down your self-conscious which means you're shutting down all of your senses your your sight and your smell and your hearing and just everything you're just shutting down this reality basically and you're going inside and you don't have to I mean if you're going to read them you can read them you don't have to <laughs> just do that with your eyes closed you can read them but ultimately you're just kind of hyper focusing in and you're saying the statements and say them over and over again because repetition is how the subconscious or unconscious mind pulls that information in um, write out whatever you want to feel or believe and say them. I am abundant. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I have amazing business opportunities coming to me all the time. I am successful. I feel amazing. You can say these things and you can make them believable by starting really small. Start small. You don't need to say, if you don't feel rich, then don't say, I feel rich right away because that might um, just rebound you into, into negative beliefs. But you can always say, I feel abundant because abundance comes in all forms. You can be abundant in anything, food and hugs and water and whatever. You, you're abundant in everything. So you can always appreciate your abundance. I talk a lot about how to do all of this in my program. So check it out. It's below. I teach you step by step on how to completely transform yourself and get rid of all negative thoughts and beliefs inside of you so that you can create a new identity, a new identity that has everything that you want. So if you're struggling with doing it on your own, check out those below. 
So again, you want to implant your unconscious mind with what you want to instruct your body to do and what you want to instruct it to project into your experience. It uses the superconscious to project into your field, into infinite space to bring all the components to you. So whatever you want, you can write. If you want a free cup of coffee, you can implant it into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind will then project it out, align all the components to make it happen. Trust me, it's true. And if you want, try it out. I would love to know what happens if you either write it out or say in your mind, I received a free cup of coffee, see it in your mind, in your imagination, plug it in, and then watch what happens. Or maybe you, I want to, I see a rainbow or I find a dollar on the ground. Whatever you say, literally your subconscious or unconscious mind will find it for you. It will make it happen in your experience. Pretty powerful. So take away from this video is be very mindful about what you are talking about, what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, because that is what you're going to continue to get. All of the systems in your body listen to your subconscious mind. Again, your reticular activating system, which if you want to know more about that, I have a video on that in the links below. And you get what you focus on, what you think about. So be mindful of it. Practice positive thoughts, positive feelings. Say what you want, not what you don't want, because it doesn't know no. It just knows what you're saying. So don't say, I don't want negativity. I don't want mean people, because all, of it, all it's hearing is negativity and mean people. So make sure to keep your affirmations very positive and happy in what you want, what you want to create, what you want to feel. I have also, yeah, the self-love challenge. Check it out. Then you can hear some positive affirmations and you can use those, the kind of affirmations that you want to tell yourself. And I'm going to have plenty more and some meditations to help you implant positivity into your subconscious mind so that you transform your inner world and therefore your outer world. Thanks so much for joining this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you learned anything and please tell me below what you took away. That's how you learn, that's how you grow and change when you write out what you actually learned and that way that you remember it. So write it in the comment below and subscribe to my channel if you have it, I really appreciate it. Then you'll get all the latest videos and meditations to completely transform your life. Thanks again for joining and I'll see you in the next video.